was a mischievous boy who lived somewhere by the Mississippi River. Tom's parents passed away a long time ago, so he lived with his aunt. His aunt was a kind woman, but she had to be tough to raise a troublemaker like Tom. One day, Tom pretended to be sick to skip school. Oh, my toe! If I die, please give my cat to Becky. Becky was the girl Tom liked. You jerk! Are you pretending to be sick again? Get out of bed before I give you a spanking! Tom grumbled as he got out of bed and headed off for school. Tom was trudging along when his friend Huck, who was an orphan, called him. Tom envied Huck because Huck was in attending school and there was nobody to bother him. Huck was holding a dead cat. People say that if you take a dead cat to the graveyard, the warts on your body will disappear. adventures and he thought it would be fun to go to the graveyard at night. The two boys promised to meet at night. Later that night, Tom and Huck finally arrived at the graveyard. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. You've got to be quiet, Tom. The faint light of a lamp was moving from the other side of the graveyard. Tom and Huck held their breath as they watched. There were Dr. Robinson, Potter the Drunk, and Indian Joe. Potter and Joe were digging up a grave and pulling out a corpse. What are they doing? Tom and Huck held their breath and watched. They were arguing about something. Then suddenly, Indian Joe stabbed Dr. Robinson with his knife and Potter the Drunk fainted while he was breaking up the fight. Then Indian Joe placed the knife in Potter's hand. Tom and Huck were so shocked they couldn't even breathe. A little later, the drunken Muff Potter woke up and was surprised to see the knife in his hand. Well, I can't believe I killed someone. This must be a mistake. I could never do such a thing. <laughs> Potter cried with the bloody knife in his hand. He just couldn't believe it. Tom and Huck were so shocked, they were speechless. They couldn't stay there, and they ran as fast as they could to get out of the graveyard. Huck, you have to swear that you won't tell anyone about this. Joe might kill us, too. They promised each other as they crossed their fingers, but they just couldn't calm down.
The next day, the whole town was talking about the murder. The sheriff went to arrest Potter. Dr. Robinson and Potter were fighting over money. I saw clearly that Potter was getting mad and he stabbed Dr. Robinson with the knife. Indian Joe's face didn't change a bit as he lied to the police. The day of Potter's trial approached. The judge was about to announce the death sentence to Potter when Tom came out to the front. It wasn't old Muff Potter that killed Dr. Robinson. It was Joe. I saw it with my own eyes. People were shocked and their eyes were popping. Indian Joe broke the window of the courthouse and ran away. Thank you, Tom. Potter was able to clear himself of the false accusation. However, Tom was worried about what Indian Joe might do to him. People started to forget about Indian Joe's incident as time passed by. Tom and his friends went on a picnic and they were having a good time. Tom, Huck and Becky decided to go explore a cave. They discovered neat rocks and streams inside the cave. The three lost their way while exploring the cave incautiously. They trembled and looked for an exit. Then they spotted a light between the rocks from a distance. They felt relieved and followed the light, but the light led them to Indian Joe. They were shocked and hid behind a rock. Fortunately, Joe passed by without noticing Tom, Becky, and Huck. Tom was scared of Joe, but he was also curious why Indian Joe was in the cave and followed him. Indian Joe came to the cave to dig up a treasure chest he had hid before. tripped and fell in the dark, and Joe discovered the children. Indian Joe chased after Tom with a frightening look on his face. Tom and his friends ran as fast as they could. The sheriff was looking for the children because they had not come out of the cave yet. Tom, Becky, Huck, where are you? Answer me. Tom and his friends were so glad to hear the sheriff's voice. We're safe now. Sheriff, we're here. Tom shouted. But it was Indian Joe who found them first. Finally, I found you. I've gone through so much trouble because of you. I will kill you. Becky was so scared that she fainted. At 
that moment, the sheriff jumped out. It's you, Indian Joe. Indian Joe walked backwards when he saw the sheriff, and then he fell off the cliff. Tom and his friends were saved without any harm. The next day, Tom and Huck dug up the treasure chest and gave it to the sheriff. The two were given awards for telling the truth, even when it put them in great danger. Up to this day, it is told that Tom and Huck are still searching for adventures.